So our very first Precious Petite, the dog's name is Rosie. She's eight years old. She's cute as anything. She's a Maltese mix. And the owner is Susan and Alan Fine from Woodstock, Vermont. And Rosie loves to go for walks in the village. She came from Lucy McKenzie, but she's a rescue dog. Rosie. Okay, so our second precious petite. The dog's name is Charlie. Let's say hello to Charlie. Most precious petite, six years old, a Maltese. The owner is Joanne Dana from Woodstock, Vermont, and Charlie is also a rescue dog. The Charlie, Charlie is feisty yet adorable. That's good. Feisty but fun. Thank you very much. Our, our next precious petite is Sophie, 14 years old, a Datsun. The owner is Kathleen Ames of Woodstock, Vermont. And the special note is Sophie is partially blind and always completely deaf. So cheer loudly so she can hear. She has been our best friend for over 14 years and we love her. This cute little puppy is called Bella, one year old. She's a petite doodle, and she's owned by the Limpert family in New York City. Her birthplace was in Indiana. Bella is an amazing soccer defender who loves children and loves to watch soccer. Give her a big round of applause. The next dog's name is Finian, a most precious petite also, four years old, a Jack Russell Terrier. Jennifer Costello, Costello is the owner. She's from Marblehead, Mass, and Bridgewater, Vermont. The birthplace of this puppy is Albion, Maine. And when Finian is not grazing with cows in the pasture, as grass is one of her favorite snacks, he enjoys fishing for trout and hunting frogs. This dog's name is Ami. That's French for friend. She's a most precious petite and very precious. She's six years old. She's a Shifu puppy. The owner is none other than Gary Horsman. Take that into consideration. From Woodstock, Vermont. Her birthplace is Pennsylvania. And one of the coolest things about Ami is when she wants to play catch with me, I can get her to count up to five. She's very consistent, so she knows how to count. Give her a big round of applause. Okay, our last, is this our last precious petite? We have one more, okay, so second to last. The dog's name is Daisy. She's six years old, she's a Havanese. The owner is Berna Donlin from Barnard, Vermont. The birthplace is the Humane Society of New York City. Daisy is a therapy dog who works with children in schools and victim centers, college students, and developmental delayed adults. Give her a big round of applause. She does a lot of good work. And our last precious petite, the dog's name is Gigi. Seven years old, a Havanese. The owner is Willa Knoll. The hometown is Woodstock, Vermont, but her birthplace was in New Hampshire. And Gigi's initials stand for good girl, and I'm told that she really is. So we can start with the next category, the mightiest midsize. This first dog's name is Tyler. He's 
seeks to be empty. A federal troublemaker will say, <laughs> maybe just inquisitive. Two and a half years old, a husky boxer mix. The owner is Phil Scott from Queechy, Vermont. The birthplace of South Carolina, and Tyler likes to hang with Phil, and who wouldn't? Where do I go? <laughs> <laughs> <And> the shade. <laughs> what we have here is a little bit of shade, and the dogs are taking advantage of that. This dog's name is Wiley, a mightiest midsize of one year old, a mixed breed. The owner is Darren Triller. The hometown of this dog is Clifton Park, New York. The birthplace, though, is Pet Palooza, Boston Spa, New York. And note that Wiley has adopted and has a most has a most unusual markings. Let's give a big round of applause to Wiley. This cute dog's name is Harry, 11 years old, a West Highland Terrier. Louise Schwabel is the owner of this dog from South Woodstock, Vermont. This dog's birthplace was Reading Farm, Vermont, and Harry has participated in Puppies and Pooches on Parade ever since it started. One of our veterans. Treats are being given out now. This dog's name is Skeeter, two and a half years old, a boxer mix. The owner is Dale West. The hometown is Savannah, Georgia. The birthplace is also Georgia. Skeeter is a southern boy with low country roots, enjoys visiting the Green Mountains, when he can run, where he can run, roll, and romp to his heart's content. We all love the Green Mountains. Oh. Nice too. This dog's name is Roxy, 10 years old, mightiest midsize. The breed is Australian Shepherd. The owner is Laurel Fox from hometown Amok, New York. You don't know the birthplace of this dog. Roxy taught herself how to open doors throughout her house. That's quite a trick. Give a big round of applause to Roxy. Our next contestant is Dusty. 15 months, a 15 month old mightiest midsize. A Labradoodle, the owner is Steve Sarah. Westfield, New Jersey is, is Dusty's hometown, but his birthplace was Naples, Florida. Dusty is very people focused and dog focused. He loves to be with others and is quite the cuddler. Cuddly dogs are really cool. And this, one, this one is his too. Thank you. Her next mid mightiest mid-sized contestant is Bowie, who's only five months old, still a little puppy. A conqueror, conqueror. I'm gonna ask for a little bit of conqueror. Oh, Koika Hondi. Conquer Hondi, Conquer Hondi. The owner is Janice Lee. The hometown is Darien, Connecticut. And Bowie's threes are silly. Sweet and smart. Three S's. Three S's. Silly, sweet, and smart. He goes up next. Nine months old. So another little puppy. A miniature poodle. The owner is Ted Donlin. He's from Barnard, Vermont. The birthplace of this little puppy, though, is Columbia County, New York. And Nico lives with Daisy, who is also here. I'm so excited. Big round of applause for Nico. <laughs> this category is the gentlest giant category. So there's some big dogs in this group. Two dogs here. The first dog's name is Bird. The second dog's name is Friday. I'm going to tell you a little bit about Bird. One year old, a Belgian Shepherd. 
Darnell Martin is the owner from Bridgewater, Vermont. The birthplace was in Europe, and Bird is known as a clown. The second, the second dog, nine years old, a Belgian Shepherd also. Darnell Martin, the owner as well, from Bridgewater, also born in Europe, and Friday is very emotional. <laughs> The next dog's name is Cedar, a three-year-old gentle giant who enjoys lying in the shade. The breed is an English <laughs> retriever. The owner is Amy LeBaron from Woodstock, Vermont. Her birthplace was Walcott, Vermont. And Cedar is a rescue dog who can go anywhere. He is sweet, friendly, and lovable, and, get this, a bit of a clown. Our next dog's name is Raider, Raider Baloo, down, Raider. a gentle giant of six years old who's a chow chow. The owner is Kevin McCarthy of Woodstock, Vermont, but the birthplace of this dog, this gentle giant, is Lubbock, Texas. Raider Baloo is a sweet dog that looks like a lion, LOL. Wow, pretty big category for the gentle giants. This dog's name is Howie, 11 years old, a golden retriever. The owners are Susan and Larry Solomon. The hometown is Vero Beach, Florida, but the birthplace of this dog is New Jersey. This is not the first time Howie has participated in Puppies and Pooches on Parade, so another veteran dog. This dog's name is Luke, a gentle giant of 10 years. The breed is a Siberian Husky and a Nile Auden. The hometown is Woodstock, Vermont. Luke loves to catch snowballs in midair. Let's give a big round of applause to Luke. Three gentle giants, wow. Ligeti, Milka, and Woody. Ligeti is 10 years old. Which one is Ligeti? The yellow. The yellow one? <laughs> yellow lab. The owner is Mary Bavacotti from Bridgewater, Vermont. The birthplace is Tennessee, and Ligeti is named for American alpine skier Ted Ligeti. The Chocolate Lab, let's see which one, one right in the middle. Six years old, this dog's name is Milka. Again, the same owner, Mary Bavacotti Conti from Bridgewater, Vermont. The birthplace of this dog is New York. And Milka is named for a chocolate popular in Germany. Oops. And the last one of this gentle giant group of three is Woody, nine months old. So the youngest one out of this group. A black Labrador. Mary again is the owner. Bridgewater, Vermont. Birthplace, Maine. And Woody thinks he is a fox. His full name is Killington Woodland Dream reflecting his owner's love of the woods. Three dogs, it's got to be an Thank extra special Let's applause go. from the crowd. Thank you very much. Another gentle giant, this one nine months old. His name is Frankie. He's a Bernadoodle. The owner is Lee Wang from Hanover, New Hampshire. The birthplace of Frankie is Salt Lake City, Utah. And Frankie loves all humans and all dogs and can play with anyone. Wow. Frankie, hey, Frankie. Nice to meet you. <laughs> and this is one of those dogs where you couldn't just pick the dog up to get him to go forward. Frankie? All right. This dog's name is Muffin, a gentle giant of eight months. The breed is a lab hound. Nagila Michelli from Woodstock, Vermont is the owner. The birthplace is a rescue dog from Alabama and Muffin loves stealing baked goods. You could have figured. Big round of applause for Muffin. Seems like a very well behaved gentle giant, I can just tell. This dog's name is Chance, six years old, an English lab, and the owner is Beth Robinson. The hometown is Woodstock, Vermont. The birthplace of Chance is Bethel, Vermont. And Chance was born a full day after his littermates, hence 
her name, Chance. Thank you, Beth. This is sometimes known as a category that's a fan favorite. The Ms. Fashionista category. And you can see that the owners of these dogs often do quite a good job of dressing up their dogs. Maybe even out of character sometimes. So this dog's name is Taz, Miss Fashionista, eight years old, looks very fitting the way she's dressed. It's an American bully. The owner is Ben Tabor of Brookfield, Vermont. Taz loves this event and she hopes lots of people donate to the friends of the Norman Williams Historic Library. We do too. This dog's name is Blondie. Again, Ms. Fashionista category. The owner has done a little bit of matching with the dog itself. That always counts for something. The age is nine years old, a yellow Labrador. The owner is Zella Little from Barnard, Vermont. And Blondie has a mean bark, but is the most docile dog you will ever meet, and she's smart. Blondie. <laughs> Our next fashionista is Scout, two and a half years old, a Mongolian tree climber. The owner is Andrew Rome of Woodstock, Vermont, and Scout is a rare breed of squirrel chasers who can actually climb trees. We would love to see that. So today she's a fashionista, she's not hunting squirrels, she's not climbing trees, and she looks very excited to be in Puppies and Pooches on Parade. A uh, Harry Potter themed group. Two, two dogs together. The first dog's name is Lacey. Which one is Lacey? The little one. The little one, fashionista is Lacey. 11 years old. She's a chee weenie. The owner is Tess Hunter of Barnard, Vermont. The birthplace is Washington State, and Lacey is a world traveler. She has lived in England for over a year. The next dog is Maggie. She's six months old, a lab coon mix. Jenna Trembreth is the owner from Weetog, 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 Connecticut. Her birthplace is Stafford Springs, Springs, Connecticut, and Maggie loves to go kayaking. She thinks she is, she thinks a lake is just one big water bowl to drink out of. <laughs> Let's give a round of applause to both of these contestants. <laughs> Our next fashionista contestant, contestant is Sadie, two and a half years old, a mini golden doodle, Ben. Huffsteller is the owner, Woodstock, Vermont. The birthplace is Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Sadie is a loving genius. Big round of applause for Sadie. <laughs> Miss Fashionista category. Our next fashionista is Nevia. Nevea. 10 years old, a Pomeranian, the owner is Clay Reed from Woodstock, Vermont. The birthplace is Penfield, New York. Nevea loves everyone. That's super. Man's best friend, Nevea. Cute as anything. This dog's name is Cece, a Miss Fashionista, four years old. Reed is the Cologne de Lyon. The owner is Jennifer Falvey of Pomfret, Vermont. The birthplace of this cute little puppy is Little Rock, Arkansas. And Cece doesn't eat as much as her brother, Arthur. 
Okay, we have a new category now, Mr. Bojest. So kind of the male version of Miss Fashionista. And our first dog is Teddy, eight years old, a Labradoodle. The owner is Amelia Kalaki. Kalak? Kalaki. The hometown is Brooklyn, New York. The birthplace is Marin County, California. And Teddy is the inspiration for puppies and pooches on parade. The sweetest dog on the planet and afraid to swim. Let's give, a, let's give Teddy a big round of applause for being the inspiration for puppies and pooches on parade. Thunder, our next contestant in Mr. Bojest. Two years old, a red fox Labrador. The owner is Cole Little from Barnard, Vermont. Thunder is a purebred yellow Labrador, but doesn't appear that way. His fox red color is considered the darkest of the yellows. He also has a recessive gene that gives him long hair. He is the fluffiest of all of the labs. Let's give a fluffy round of applause to Thunder. This is sure to get points with the judges. This dog's name is Ollie, Mr. Bojest, a two-year-old Bernadoodle. Noah Grabowski is the owner. The home's hometown is Woodstock, Vermont. The birthplace is Culpeper, Virginia. Ollie loves playing hide and seek. Give a big round of applause to Ollie. This Mr. Bojest is Arthur, four years old. The breed is Cologne de Lyon. The owner, also Jennifer Falvey from Pomfret, Vermont. The birthplace is Little Rock, Arkansas. Arthur is always on a weight watching diet. Charlie. Our next Mr. Bojest, the age is 11 years. He's given me a lot of attention. He's a mixed poodle and terrier. The owner is Ellen Lefebvre and Anthony Wood. The hometown is South Woodstock, Vermont. The birthplace, but also a rescue dog, Houston, Texas. Charlie is always wearing his tuxedo. The owners, by the way, one little known fact, but a fun fact about Charlie, the owners went to the hardware store for paint and came back with Charlie. That's worth a lot right there. Thanks, Charlie. Our next boat jest, Mr. Peabody, one year old, a brown standard poodle. Joan and Elliot Rubin are the owners from Plymouth, Vermont. The birthplace is Pulaski, New York, and Mr. Peabody celebrated his first, birth, his first birthday just yesterday. Now that's worth something. Big round of applause for Mr. Peabody. Our next Mr. Bojest is Louis. Six months, a palm sheets poo chi. Palm Sheets Poochie. <laughs> Alicia Tisman and John Sewell are the Sewell are the owners. The hometown is Bridgewater, Vermont. The birthplace is Georgia. Louis is a kind of like a rabbit. He is the king of the bunnies. He rules over a small kingdom in Bridgewater. To his loved ones, he is an emotional terror. <laughs> So our most precious petite winner, and we'd like Sophie to come back. Sophie, 14 years old, a Dotson, Caitlin Ames from Woodstock, Vermont. Excellent. And they are also the winners of a donation made by Vermont Flannel. Thank you very much, and congratulations. The winner of the mightiest midsize is Wiley, one-year-old mixed breed. Congratulations. <laughs> the next category is a gentle is the gentle giant category. It's cedar a three-year-old old English cream retriever. 
Congratulations, Cedar. The Fashionista category. Everyone is always paying attention to who is the winner of the Fashionista category. And this year, it is, I want to be certain, Maggie. Maggie is the winner of this year's Fashionista. A happy dog owner for sure. Charlie, an 11 year old mixed breed. Charlie is the winner of Mr. Bo Jess. He's always wearing his tuxedo, we're told. So, one last time for the winners of each category, if they could all come back into the ring. And we're going to have Best in Show, which is also a, a category that's judged by the judges. So, all the winners. And then we decide upon best in show as judged by the judges. And then we have one more judging category, which is everyone else, fan favorite. But right now we're going to do just the category winners. So Precious Petite, Mr. Bo Jess, Fashion Easter, Dental Giant, Mightiest Midsize, all back in the ring. And Best in Show is about to be announced okay, to, to help the judges. Could we re see who Sophie is? I think we know, but let's just make certain. Sophie, 14-year-old Dotson. Wiley, a one-year-old mixed breed. So where is Wiley? Okay. Cedar, a three-year-old English cream retriever. Easy to know that one. <laughs> Maggie was the fashionista winner, so that category. Where's Maggie? This Maggie. Yeah. And Charlie, 11-year-old mixed breed, was Mr. Bo Jess. And the judges are tallying the totals up. I've just been told, and it's absolutely true, that all dogs who have participated, in fact, all dogs are winners, and all dog owners are winners. and just whispered in my, my ear, the best in show, Cedar. And this is a, the grand prize here is for, from Woody's, another supporter of the Friends. Congratulations to everyone though, but in particular to Cedar. Thank you. Okay, one more thing to decide today is the fan favorite. I'm gonna ask everyone to even come in a little bit. It's only for a couple of seconds, a couple of minutes. Come in close because proximity to the sound meter does count. This is where we're going to judge who is the fan favorite by how, how, loud, you ch how loud you cheer. <laughs> Just this is Charlie. 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 So let's give a round of applause to Charlie. Yeah. Yeah. It's Louie. Louie. So cheer for Louie for fan yeah. favorite. Sophie. Maggie and Lacey. Maggie and Lacey. A cheer? This dog's name is Ollie. Roxy. A round of applause for Roxy. Bella. <laughs> Teddy, the inspiration for it all. <laughs> Dusty. <laughs> Very long legs. Bird and Friday. Big applause. Finian. And the winner of the fan favorite category is Bella. The Bella can do this, Bella. Let's bring Bella back up. All right. 
another prize. Again, we count on our, our donors, Clover and Woodstock. Congratulations for the fan favorite. This is a category, it's, it's a special category, the furthest place of origin. And this is a dual prize from the Village Butcher in Woodstock, Vermont, and the Yankee Bookstore. They came the furthest. So this is a prize for the first one to enter into Puppies and Pooches for this year. It's a prize from the Dog Pro, and it's awarded to Ben Tabor, the earliest entry. The dog's name is Taz. Do we know if Ben is still here? He gets the ball rolling. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Let it show the belly! Yay! Because <laughs> it turns out that we actually had a tie for earliest entry, and Sophie also came in on the, on the same time as Taz. And this is a gift from Coburn's Tavern for the earliest entry. You won't be able to use it for many years. <laughs> Danforth, we work metal by hand. And Sophie, you come, I think three prizes this year? This is the oldest dog in the competition. Sophie, thank you. So congratulations. Winner of three items in one competition. I don't think anyone's ever done that before. So a big round of applause to Sophie. And a big round of applause for everyone who came out and helped and contributed. It's been a fun day. We got some good weather.